Hey, good Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Today I want to talk about our animals, our fur babies. Yeah, if you're an animal lover, I hope you enjoy this devotion today. If you're not an animal lover, I hope, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoy. But <clears throat> I was thinking about animals, our animals. And, you know, the first dog that I really remember was a little dog. He was, I, I, I don't even know what kind he was, but we called him Foxy. Foxy and Foxy would run all over Fairview Street, Piedmont, West Virginia, and <clears throat> he was he was one of the best dogs that I remember. And I remember when we had to say goodbye to him. It was it was so hard. It was so difficult. And throughout the years, we've always had dogs or cats in our families, and it just seems like it's not a house. It's not a home without a pet. And over the years in ministry, I've had people ask me, do you think dogs, cats, do you think animals are in heaven? And, um, <clears throat> you know, Jesus says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you will be also. And, you know, God knows the desires of our hearts. In the Old Testament, in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6, <clears throat> it says the following, The wolf shall live with the lamb. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lay down with the kid, the calf, and the lion, and the fatling, together. Together. Yeah, and then Psalm 36, 6 says, Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You saved humans and animals alike. And even in the book of Revelation, Jesus is, is seen riding a horse. Riding a horse. And I'm sharing this story with you today because, or this, this scripture with you today, because I think it's important for us to, to think about all the animals in our society who are mistreated who are at the shelters, who need love, who need support. And I think about the compassion of those that work in our local shelters, how, how much love it takes to do what they do, and all the heartbreak that they see. There's a comedian that I like. His name is Mark Lowry. Mark is a singer. He's also um, a comedian, like I said. He's, he's pretty funny. But Mark was uh, doing a stand-up routine one day, and and he was talking about animals, and he picked out a husband and wife out of out of his audience, and he asked them if they had any animals at home, and the husband said, "We have a dog. We have a dog," and uh, and Mark said, "Oh, that's that's great. I love animals, especially dogs. I love dogs," and uh, Mark asked him, "Do you think your dog's going to go to heaven?" And the guy yelled out, I don't know, but I hope he's there because I think it would be a great, great time in heaven to have my puppy, to have my dog, to have my fur baby. And Mark shook his head. He said, well, Psalm 36, 6 says, <clears throat> you saved humans and animals alike. You saved humans and animals alike. And he said, so I think you'll see your dog there. And he said, and again, this is a comedian, okay, so don't get all riled up, but Mark said, out of, out of your wife and your uh, dog, who do you think is more Christian? <laughs> and the husband started laughing. He said, well, it's definitely my wife. Mark said, okay. He said, uh, after the show, he said, when you make it back to your home, he said, why don't you put your wife and your dog in the trunk of the car? And he said, leave him there for an hour, come back, and in that hour... Open up your trunk, and he said, see which Christian is happy to see you. And what he was saying was that animals have a way to love unconditionally. Animals have a way to show compassion. Animals have a way to show happiness. And today, again, Psalm 36, 6, you saved humans and animals alike. When I was in Pendleton County, West Virginia, I was with a gentleman who was ready to, to pass on. And in that room, he was, he was in and out of consciousness. 
that every time he would come back, he would always tell the story because his son and his daughter and his grandson was in the room with him and he would he would just say to him, I saw so and so, I saw mom, I saw dad, I saw Uncle Joe, I saw Aunt Mary, I saw this person, I saw that person, you know, and and every time he would say it his face would light up and one of the last times he came back out of his uh state of unconsciousness, he looked at his son, and he said, I saw Jesus. He's coming this way. He's coming. And he said, and I saw Fluffy. And his son said, who is Fluffy? He said, that was my, that was my dog when I was a little boy. He went with me everywhere. And he was always happy to see me come home. When I would work on the farm all day and come back in the evening, he would always run and greet me and jump in my arms and just kiss my face. And I saw Fluffy. He was running. He was running towards me. And then I woke up. And he said to his son, I'm going to see my family. I'm going to be with Jesus. And I can't wait to get those doggy kisses from Fluffy. Yeah. I just thought I would share that with you. Psalm 36, 6, you saved humans and animals alike. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless.